Hey, welcome back to my second YouTube video. My name is Beanster, you can call me Bean. And first thing you might be noticing this time, we're in widescreen now, so hooray for that. Anyway, today I'm going to be showing you all of the different locations for Redwood Cores in the new patch. Um, so, let's get on with it. We head straight from that bridge over to the Gotera Forest. You can rush past these guys and find the new climbable rock and vine here, and go like so. This is the first of many locations. We'll be checking them all out. Um, then just climb on up right here. And so we have made it to the first location. Now there are dangerous plants everywhere. Just ignore them, don't trigger them at all costs. So these things are a pain when they're triggered if you have default health. So teleport along here. Be very careful not to trigger that one up there. You're just gonna teleport. Hope for the best. And I set it off. So, with this one, I believe there's a little corner where it will not affect you. So you're just gonna stay here and wait that one out because it will kill you very quickly. So you gotta watch out for those. Oh, those guys want me. Alright, we're gonna go say hi to those. Hit my ceiling. I'm in a low ceiling today. Alright. Alright, now that we've dealt with this guy. Now, here's the first chest that contain, contain redwood cores. There is none in it today, because I have already looted these, but that is where you will find them. If they are not looted, there will most likely be two redwood cores in that chest. I'm gonna deal with this guy first. Alright, so we're going to climb back up here, and you're going to shimmy across this very long rock. Now, once you're on the other side, there'll be a chest and two more redwood cores. I'm going to shimmy across there, and then we will go to the next location. There. You cannot climb the bottom of these though if you fall, you're out of luck. So, there'll be other TVO stuff along with Redwood Cores. Um, so we're going to head over to Mountain Pass, the location of the rest of all the spawns that I know of that can contain Redwood Cores. So we're going to head over there. Alright, so we have arrived at the entrance of Mountain Pass after a long walk. So, let's head right in. Um, so you're just going to keep going along here. And they've added this new climbing area, so we are just going to pop along here. All of these places do require climbing to go to, at least without some teleporting shenanigans. Um, so I would recommend at least uh, completing the first couple of levels to get some stamina. So we're going to take the new shortcut they added with this new rope. <laughs> this is just going to take us to the combat shrine, so nothing new yet. I have not completed the climbing to this one. That may prove to be an issue later. I've only got level four, I think four stamina, so that's not gonna be great for what we're doing, but whatever. All right, so this is the entrance to the next location where you can get redwood cores. I believe there will be a worm spawn up here, so you're gonna have to be careful of that. You could definitely bring a sword for this one. Whoop. Right. Ooh, he got me good. Now these bricks have weird collisions, so. Might want to climb the rope instead of what I'm doing. 
All right. So we have, ooh, wow, we got lucky. Jeez, six redwood cards. Here we go. I take that TP potion for later. And, well, well, I'll head on to the next location. There are two more. You can actually see glimpses of both of them, but we'll head on over there now. So, following the normal path you would take to get to the combat shrine, you will come across those bricks. Just climb down these rocks, um, and you will be able to access the next area. Right there. There. Whoop. Um, so we'll climb this rope. Sorry, I'm trying to minimize my breathing. <laughs> Alright, so I'll head up here. Bit of a sharp angle, but it shouldn't be a problem. And we'll reach the ginormous rock climbing wall. This thing is humongous. Um, there's nothing else really in this area of interest, but it is a cool hangout spot. Because there's like a fire pit over here. Pretty nifty. I wanted to cook some chicken all the way up here. Um, but we will get ready at this. So you don't actually have to grab, uh, grab the rocks. You can go across this. Um, I don't know if it's helpful to do that or if you lose less stamina, but I don't know. I just normally like wing it like this. Um, there are multiple rest locations, like here, and there's actually a chest right around here. I discovered this one while I was falling to my death from the top, so <laughs> um, yeah, this is a strange one. Uh, no redwood pieces, it's, uh, or redwood cores. We did find a full katana boy. That could be handy for the, the molds, PBS molds. We're gonna head back. And keep climbing. You can take a rest right here if you need to. Whoop, hit my ceiling. <laughs> Really should not have picked this location, but whatever. See another resting spot over here. So I'm gonna drop down. And rest up. Alright, okay, be careful not to hit my ceiling. <laughs> Alright, and we are almost there. I'm running into these rocks, they're actually being more of a pain than helping me. Alright, we have reached our last location. I just dropped a redwood core. I don't need them anyways. I found nine of them. So, this is the final chest and the final location of the redwood cores I know of. If you know any more, let me know. Leave a comment. Interested? See if there's any more I don't know of. But, that is it for today. So, goodbye.